riding that beauty today. Pretty cool. Maserat edition. I think it's 92 model. Looks pretty good, isn't it? Can you tell me a bit about that bike? This bike? Yeah. Um, Chuck Davies built it to race the UK Evo series on, and he won it. So this bike won the UK Evo series. It's a complete replica of uh, Jeremy McGrath's peak um, Honda from 1992, um, and it's pretty trick. Uh, E4 is going to take you around it and uh, have a look at some of the nice parts. Obviously, there's some bits that aren't the same. Like the uh, the clutch lever, some bits have been mod modernised slightly for like you know modern racing. But yeah, it's pretty much the real deal. Yeah, it looks. Oh, man, I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't think the power is going to be an issue though. I don't think oh. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Too much silicon. Too much silicon. Yeah, we, you're not putting any dirt on it. It's fine the fuel. way it is. Fuel. Yeah, no. No fuel. <laughs> This video is of course sponsored by Dirt Bike Online Academy. Uh, it's an online platform that you can study like motocross and all of the dirt bike sports. Tell me a bit about that bike here. This bike. Um, so, spent a long time trying to find a good Rattray edition. It was a special edition one they did um, in 05. Um, and then I've actually gone a bit further than that and actually fully rat it by like putting the factory suspension in it. This is the actual Grand Prix spec suspension. Um, Harry Nolte has done the barrel on it as well. Um, it's got factory brakes, factory um, uh, so, some yeah some bits and bobs like proper factory stuff, factory uh, ignition in there as well. So yeah, it's, it's well. What do you think? It's a good bike. Oh, I thought it was really good. It's like the best 125 I've ever tried. Really? Definitely. <laughs> Seriously. It goes well, doesn't it? So quick, the brakes so good. Definitely something modified on you, those brakes. Yeah, you did worry with the brake at the first, didn't you? Yeah. Because it's like, it, it's out there and it's just on. Yeah. There's no, there's no, it's just on or off. Yeah, yeah. it's mint. I'm glad you liked it, mate. Yeah. I actually had to borrow an exhaust off someone to get it here today. So it's not the exhaust that, I sh that should be on it, so. But so we're which gonna is get ten times faster. We're gonna get a factory one from Domi, yeah. So Ooh. when that's on it, we'll have to try it again. Okay. We're gonna watch you try the Honda. <laughs> can't wait. Actually, can't wait. It's gonna be <laughs> exciting. This is a bit faster than the KTM. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. How, like, how much better was that? Oh, is ten it, times. Is it? Is it, it? It's a lot of difference. Is it? Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
No! No! So, how is the beauty? Yeah, never riding this ever again. This is awesome! This is an ornament! It's for show! Nothing else! No, no! Come never on. ridden again! One more lap! Truck is just so technical. It's just unreal. Callum pushing the bike. Just see those lines here. Oh, someone crashed. Just see those lines. So technical. that you lent me that bike no. no no why not i feel i feel like you got the best out of it and now it needs a new piston <laughs> only uh i think we'll maybe get away with a ring we'll see yeah callum enjoying himself great track to be fair though what i've got to say is that would be good practice today for you guys yeah. real good practice it was heavy though wasn't it yeah here you can see the other bike I was riding, the KTM. It's a Ratley edition. They had, uh, like Callum said earlier, they did a lot of engine work on it and it got cone miles 52 mil. So this bike was quite quick. I haven't tried a 125. I haven't tried a 125, a new model, one of the new mo newer models. I think that one was pretty good. I, I could like carry some good speed and it surprised me a lot, especially this one. Um, like I thought it would be more different, like how the frame um, and like the balance of the bike, but that felt, uh, maybe it's because of the, it's a 125, but I don't know. It felt quite nice. It's the only thing that was like the power and the suspension, but uh, hey guys, thanks for the day. I really enjoyed testing those bikes and thanks to Calum Swan. Uh, for letting me try those two bikes out. They were way different in the end and uh, quite just like the years, only 12 years, 12, 13 years between those bikes, but so much difference, especially in the power. Uh, we got cone valves on that uh, KTM, so suspension felt quite plush and uh, just you could ride it like a normal uh, up-to-date bike. I just want to mention the Dirt Bike Online Academy, the main sponsor of this uh, vlog and this channel. Uh, we couldn't make those videos without this. And Dirt Bike Online Academy is, or the DOA, is a online education platform. Uh, so you can learn everything online, go through everything through your phone on the track and just study it on the track. So if you're struggling with corners, for example, you can just go on your phone, 
check out like corners, ruts or something, and you can figure out, you have Tommy Searle, Sean Simpson, you have K-Tech suspension there, and we're getting enough fitness codes, Luke Ursel coming with some movements and, and fitness advices. Uh, so it's so helpful for you guys, and especially with the K-Tech course, then you can just figure out, you can see all of those details about um, if your bike is really loose on the back or is it if the bike is kicking just to side to side the rear end is or the bike is just not feeling good and what you should do all answers there i asked like 100 questions to ktac how to figure out if this is acting with the suspension you can fix it by clicking that or what do you need to do so so helpful and i need use it personally even when i ride i go to the app even though I filmed the course with the guys, it's just so helpful. And uh, Tommy's course and, and, and Sean's course as well. Uh, I go over ruts and everything. Oh, I should have thought of that. And it just helps so much. So, and we're getting in like more coaches. Like now it's, we're steadily in the winter time, we're filming with a bunch of coaches. So we'll be uploading new content consistently every month or two, uh, just coming up with new stuff. So, hope you enjoy. You see this? Fox sponsors, as my, my sponsor, personal sponsor, Pukin. As well, I want to mention PGVM, they sponsored me and helped me for Multicross Nations. And you can check this video that I made from Multicross Nations, the vlog, and my GoPro video of the qualifying race. Quite exciting and uh, really nice experience to be a part of that event, my seventh time.